welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, my name's Gemma and I'm losing weight following a calorie controlled diet. Today is Saturday the 24th of April and it is weigh day. So, I'm sorry, I've just trimmed my fringe and all the hair's coming out. I've just put a black dye on, got a face um, tanning wipe on, I've done my nails, which I'm not a very girly girl. But I thought with us um, celebrating our Alicia's 18th birthday, I'd make the effort. Um, so yeah, today. <coughs> Last week I weighed in at 12 stone 2, which was a total weight loss of 2 stone and 4 pounds. My starting weight was 14 stone 6 and at that weight I was size 18. I'm now a size 14 and today I'm weighed in at 12 stone 2, so I've maintained. I'm, I'm not disappointed, I'm happy. I've just got to just knuckle down a little bit more. I experimented this week with using some exercise calories. I did a bit more movement towards the beginning of the week and the end of the week, but during the middle, I think my A fever were that bad that it just absolutely wiped me out. So it's been warm this week, so the meals that I planned kind of went to part and we ended up having like a barbecue type food and paninis and stuff like that. So I've heavier things than I expected and that I planned for. My plan this week is to enjoy food and not think about it too much. I'm still going to be having my calories. So my calories for the week are 10,036 and I have Saturday set as an easy day. So today I get 1,864. I've tried to plot in my day and I can safely say I am going to be going over calories. It's not something that I generally do, but my niece is really important to me and I haven't had a drink for a while. I've not let my hair down. We're having a meal out in a pub and there's no healthy options because it is a garden reduced menu. They don't have jacket potatoes, they don't have new potatoes, they have one salad, but obviously I don't like salads. So there's not much that I can have. I am making, I'm going to make the right choice when I go there. I'm actually just going to have some bread and mushrooms and a portion of chips, so it's like a starter and a side, because that works out low calories, and I absolutely love bread and mushrooms, so it's a good option for me, really. Um, I'm going to have some cereals now, because I ain't got much in, I'm waiting for my Morrison's delivery. And we're having a takeaway for tea. So again, I'm going to make the right option, uh, right choice, and I'm going to have a shish kebab without chips. So that's my food plan for the day. But yeah, alcohol is really, really high in calories. So even if I plan to have three bottles of San Miguel and three vodka and Diet Coke, that would take me still quite a bit over. Just hang on a minute. Sorry, my nose for running. <laughs> um, yeah, so even with that, it takes me over my calories. So yeah, I'm going to make better choices than I would have done had I not been like counting my calories. But it is still going to take me over. And I've bought some little like sweet treats front garden, like mini uh, cornflake things and mini brownies and stuff. So I will be indulging today. So this vlog is just going to be my way weighing results and it's going to be what I bought from Morrison's this week so I'll show you that. You'll hopefully see the choices that I made from Morrison's are aimed at nicer weather and easy things to cook so it's quite a bit of fish and stuff like that. Just want to try and because I always turn to like well it's nice you want to sit on guard and with some salmon and new potatoes and stuff like that. I do because I don't like um, salads and stuff so and pasta. So that's what I tend to turn to. So yeah, I'll show you what I bought from Morrison's. So the next vlog that will be up will either be tonight or tomorrow morning. And that will be a day in the life. So it'll be what I eat, calorie counting, and then a bit of us enjoying ourselves for Alicia's birthday. Obviously not too much because no one wants to see that. It might get messy. So um, yeah, I'll show you that. And then we'll have to see how I get on this week. Um, I'm obviously going into the week with having that high calorie day so we'll have to see if I can pull it back for a loss next week but again I will be happy to maintain and then I've got a couple of weeks before my 40th so it's time to knuckle down and I would absolutely absolutely love 
to be in that 11 stone bracket for my um, 40th. Like I said, when I was Slimming World, I actually set my goal to 12 stone. I'm two pounds away from that, which is absolutely amazing. I didn't think I'd ever reach this way, and I feel fantastic. Some of my 14s are getting too big. And like today, I know this might sound silly, but I'm cleaning house. So I've just put some jeans on and a t-shirt. And usually, I feel really big in t-shirts. I mean, these 14s are falling down. I feel really big in t-shirts, just a Prince t-shirt, just from Boohoo. But just to be able to, and I wore this before, last summer, you'll probably remember, but I always had a cardigan on with it. I never, never felt comfortable to have my arms out with it. And I think it's that that's the changes that I'm enjoying, just, I mean, that little bit more confidence in myself and I just feel like I'm getting there now. So, um, yeah, I'm going to show you what I bought from Morrison's this week and then um, I'll catch up with you in the next vlog. So thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely weekend. Bye. So this is the shop for this week. It actually cost me about £140, but that's because I've got a little bit of alcohol. So I'll show you that in a bit. So I've got the no added um, sugar apple and black currant, which is four calories for 250 mils. I've got Alex some um, apple juices, they're 76 calories each. I've got some lion bars, they're 207 calories. The aero caramels, which are delicious, 143 calories. Time outs, 111 calories. Kit Kat chunkies, 203 calories. Mars bars, 177 calories. Got some bananas, some cheese, some unsmoked bacon medallions, some scotch pancakes, which are 82 calories each, two lots of tender stem, two lots of normal broccoli, um, a cucumber, cauliflower, and cabbage. Got some carrots, some Morrison's sliced potatoes. We've not tried the Morrison's ones before. For a third of the pack, 273 calories. Some white bread, which is 93 calories. I've got some pan of chocolates, which are 187 calories each. Some chocolate brioches, they're 127 calories each. We've just got some conditioner, some corn flakes, which 400 grams is 113 calories. I've got some lemon and herb sea bass. Not, I used to have these on... Um, Slimming well, because I think there were something like half a sin each. On calories, half a pack, 197 calories, so 197 calories each. Salmon fillets, these are per 100 grams cooked, so you have to weigh these cooked to salmon, um, but it works out about 225 calories. Some chicken dippers, I've got a lot of chicken because we've been a bit warmer, I think they'd be nice in wraps and stuff like that. Um, and they're 230 calories for five chicken dippers. I've got a pizza for half of that pizza. It's 439, just some milk. Quarter pounders for the kids. They're 330 calories each. Some tempura batter crispy chicken, which is delicious. 219 calories each. Some southern fried one, which is also delicious. And that's 239. Not tried these char grill ones, but they're 153. The sweet stick it barbecue. So I'm looking forward to trying those and the quite low calories um half a pack of this is 220 uh, 212 so that's not bad i love a bit of scamper these i don't think i've had these before but the kids have but i started trying to make my own and i'm really enjoying them but yeah i'm not a big cheese lover so it just depends if it's a strong cheese on it but per skin it's 105 calories so the kids macaroni cheese for the full pack it's 474 this is for the burgers that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to do them quarter pounders and I don't know what we're going to have on ours yet. They're 163 each. Just some kitchen towel. Pedigree for Bonnie. Some baby potatoes. I didn't need any Mary Pipers. Some ham, but it's come open, so I'm going to throw that away. I'm, I don't like to risk stuff like that. Um, some creamy mash, which for half a pack is 190. Some corned beef, which now beats a corned beef and brown sauce sandwich, and that is... 47 calories each, some tuna chunks in sunflower oil, and they are 8 to 9 calories each. Some of the oatmeal bread, that is 79 calories a slice. Typical roll, 126 calories. Some muffins, which I might have to have one of these for my breakfast today, 168 calories each. Ciabattas, 
So they have the calories per 100 grams, 257. And it doesn't have the, the grammage on, so you'd have to weigh them. I've got these to try because they were in three for £10. Um, Addict fillets, per fillet, 302. But what I'd say is look at the difference in the sizes there. So it's definitely something that you'd need to weigh, I think, that one. And then some chestnut mushrooms. So this is the weekly shop. And then we'll move over. And this is for tonight. So I've got some um, a big bag of crisps for kids. And then we've got lots of sweet treats. I've got double chocolate brownies. These are 52 calories each. Some caramel shortcake bites. They're 55 calories each. Cornflake clusters. They're 47 calories. And some chocolate topped flapjack, which is 70 calories. I've got cranberry juice and orange juice to make some cocktails. I've got some schnapps, which is also to make cocktails. Some Pringles. These are what Marie's ordered, my mother-in-law. So she's ordered some... Um, little cocktails. I've got some diet coke and some diet lemonade also for mixers and then we've got two San Miguel's. These I bought from um, a card shop in the week so the crisps they are 125 calories each so yeah I've spent quite a bit but I've got quite a lot for my money so thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and drop a comment below and if you've not already subscribed, it would be lovely if you could. So thank you for watching. Bye.